So we got the bike back in the garage. If you guys have been following me on my Instagram, which at this point, I don't know if some of you guys are not following my Instagram, but you should because I post a ton of stuff on there. So um, the bike was down. It was at Bergen County Harley Davidson. So huge shout out to Bergen for getting me back on the road. But yeah, my new bike, it broke. Yeah. So what had happened was my front tire has been losing air like almost since I got the bike. I just, it, it's just gotten worse lately. Um, but since I got the bike, it was losing air. I thought it, it might've been a bad valve or a leak or somewhere. I sprayed the whole tire down um, and nothing. I just couldn't find anything and I just found it weird. So um, yeah, I was constantly filling up my tire over and over and over and over and over and I got tired of it. I'm like, what's going on? I took the bike in and um, they found out that it was porous casting. So what, what, what that means is just um, the wheel quality, not even the tire, the tire is fine. It's just the actual wheel when it was in production just wasn't produced correctly. There was just an issue with, with the casting of the wheel. And what that means is that there's just these little tiny microscopic little imperfections or holes that the air just seeps right through the rim it, it seeps right through the wheel so this is something that's commonly known in the car industry and now on on this bike so if you are having this issue now you know what it could be so if you keep losing a lot of air just take a bike to your local shop or your local dealer let them know hey could it be porous casting because this is this happened to marvel kid 7 and could be happening to me and let's fix it but one thing I wanted to kind of put my finger on and I gotta tell you I didn't come out a dime out of my pocket not even a penny you know why because I have wheel and tire protection I always get wheel and tire protection on my motorcycles and I always tell people like it, it's worth it because that bill alone would have been close to a thousand dollars just for this because I had to get on a wheel so yeah it's I got a brand new wheel and I didn't pay a dime out of pocket. So also living in here, well around here, if you live in Jersey or New York or anywhere with shitty roads, the roads around here suck. There's huge potholes and it's also a possibility that you could bend a rim and then you need a new rim or a new tire and it's covered. And yeah, my deductible is also zero. So that's another reason why I didn't come out a dime or a penny, not even a penny. I didn't even pay a single penny for this job. and I'm. That, that's what like, I'm so excited about because I'm like, all right, well, I got the job fixed. I got the got my bike back and I didn't have to spend any money because I got wheel and tire protection. So if you are looking to get a brand new motorcycle, because you can only get it when you get your bike brand new, not later on. You can't, you can't add it, but I think you can within the first week or so. I don't, I don't know. Ask your local dealership. They should have all the information. I know for sure that once you get your brand new motorcycle, your brand new Harley Davidson, that's when you can add your wheel and tire protection when you're doing all your paperwork and everything. And believe me, it's worth it because who knows? I could go down the road next month and I could hit a pothole and then I could need a new wheel. And yeah, that, I, won't, I won't have to come out of pocket. But I'm super happy to be back on the road. It wasn't nothing too, too serious. You know what it was as well? If the bike was constantly used like every day, I wouldn't really lose that much PSI, maybe two or three pounds, right? But if I would let it sit in the garage for two days, two goddamn days, guess what? It was going from 32 down to 17, just within two days. So yeah, um, I didn't have any issues. I mean, I did fill up once when I was out in Milwaukee, I had to fill it up because it was down to like 26 or so. Um, but besides that, I didn't have any other issues. Um, it only happened whenever the bike was sitting here for a few days without me riding and yeah, and half of the air was leaking through the wheel. So now you know a little bit more about what porous casting is. So if you're having this issue, take your bike in and get it checked out. I also have some huge news. We're gonna be doing a crazy amount of work on the bike soon. So tune in for that video. That should be up maybe next week. So we got some really cool go fast parts. And you're gonna be surprised at what we're doing and some other stuff we're gonna be doing. We're also gonna be doing suspension on this bike soon. 
I don't want to spoil the, 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 the big hype for what I'm doing for the go fast parts, but suspension is coming for front and rear as well. We got some go fast parts coming, some something crazy, something big, and then some other cool stuff on the way. So tune in. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. It's notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. Also, I have a brand new channel. If you guys want to check it out, it's called Wristworks. It's about watches. I just started a brand new one. I didn't even post a video up yet. Well, maybe a video might be posted by now. But if you're into watches, go follow that. I'm going to be linking the link down below if you want to help me grow my following on there. Wristworks is going to be about watches, my passion for watches. And yeah, hopefully some of you guys come over there and subscribe and be a part of the fam. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys be. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.